Good evening and welcome to On the Mind News. I am Duncan. This evening we're going to be discussing in brief two elections taking place on the African continent, or rather that have recently taken place on the African continent. The first and more prominent of the two was the election in Gambia, which had a very interesting turn. After opposition leaders won the election and had actually had that victory conceded by incumbent president Yahya Jammeh, they actually had effectively taken over control of the of the government, or rather were preparing to take over control of the government, when the incumbent president suddenly declared that he was not in fact recognizing the results, even though he had previously recognized said results. The election is going to be redirected to the Supreme Court. However, the current president had previously, in June of this year, removed two of the Supreme Court justices of the country's Supreme Court, rendering it, by Gambian law, incapable of delivering a verdict on this. In other words, there is no Supreme Court capable of rendering a verdict on the question to which it is being put to it. Meanwhile, in Ghana, a much more democratic election has taken place. Opposition leaders have successfully ousted the incumbent administration, which has been coming under extreme fire of late for having squandered oil resources that were brought in during 2011 to 2014 in the wake of the commodity drop of 2015. Currently, economic conditions in Ghana are in a depressed state. However, Ghanaian citizens are hopeful that the new administration will restore fiscal responsibility. Thank you and good evening.